so much for being with us. It's uh, great to have your company as always. See you next time on The Chase Australia. On Seven's Gold Coast News, a shocking weekend of crime on the coast. Teen thugs terrorise taxi passengers. Day-long rain drenches the city. How long it will last? Palm Beach anger over plans to run trams through the suburb. A Burley high-rise being demolished to make way for a luxury apartments tower. And how learning to surf can be therapy for kids with autism. Live from our Surfers Paradise headquarters, this is Seven Gold Coast News with Rod Young and Amanda Abate. Good evening. It's been a shocking weekend for crime across the coast. The worst incident was in Burley, where young thugs attacked passengers in a taxi. Inside a taxi, a couple terrorised by two teens. Okay, okay. The aggressive duo attacking them outside a Burley convenience store on Saturday night. Locals say crime is getting out of control. Late Friday night on Sky Royal Terrace, two thieves wait for a getaway car after stealing from Max O'Neill, their unsuspecting victim. I'd actually heard something about 11pm um, and just didn't think anything of it. Little did he know, downstairs his car was being broken into. As soon as I went down in the morning about 7, noticed my passenger door was ajar. My wallet was on the passenger seat and they'd just taken all the cash out of my wallet. He's adamant his car was locked. So were several others nearby also targeted. I think they've got some master remote or something that can get into anything. Both of ours are locked and have a scratch on it. Police Commissioner Katerina Carroll says there is increased pressure on the service, not just here but across the state. She says she will approach the government for more officers. Key crimes are stolen vehicles, assaults and domestic violence. And then the drivers as she's mentioned, is mental health, uh, youth justice. Prioritising prevention over apprehension. Carly Madsen, 7 Gold Coast News. Two mechanics were victims of an axe attack during the weekend of crime. The road rage incident saw a man get out of his car at the Burley intersection near Bunnings and throw an axe at their windscreen. It bounced off the bonnet and landed on the road. <laughs> he's getting out, he's getting out, he's getting out, he's got the axe! Oh, there, oh, he get it, get it, he threw it, he threw it, he threw it. A group of bumbling thieves were caught on CCTV stealing from an IGA in Mudjurabar. They struggled to carry the goods and dropped them all over the ground as they fled, while mystery surrounds how this ute ended up on the rocks in Talabudjara Creek. It's since been removed. Police have seized three handguns during a weekend raid on a house in Fitzwilliam Street, Carrara. They also uncovered ammunition and illegal drugs. A 29-year-old man was today remanded in custody on multiple charges. The city's experienced a dramatic change in weather. After weeks of hot and humid conditions, today it turned cooler and wetter. It's now familiar weather for the coast following February's record-breaking big wet. Raincoats and umbrellas back out in numbers as rain once again washed across the city. Not what we expected from Surface Paradise. Pretty wet and disappointing, actually. The heaviest falls were in Talabudra and Burley Waters, 50 millimetres by early afternoon. Some suburbs, like Labrador, recorded falls of 20 millimetres in an hour. Gutters were racing after the downpour. And there were big puddles by the Broadwater in Southport. The ground is still saturated from more than 600 millimetres of rain last month. Anything that falls now just runs away. A bit ordinary for a holiday, but anyway. <laughs> it's nice. It reminds me of Hawaii. Um, but when I was in Hawaii, it was a lot sunnier. Yeah. In the hinterland, Hins Dam continues to spill at just over 100% capacity. Well, Liz, should we expect any flash flooding this evening? Well, because the ground is already saturated, we're seeing a lot of rain runoff causing water to pool on both streets and parklands. But don't be too concerned. These periods of rain are going to ease back to just a shower or two from tomorrow. Let's have a look at today's radar. You can see the rain became more frequent from mid-morning, streaming in from the northwest and blanketing the northern end of the coast at times. The radar echoes are relatively light, indicating more widespread showers rather than storms. The blue light falls and those darker red pockets 
pockets are moderate to heavy falls. Aside from flash flooding, limited visibility was the only other concern with planes using the ISL landing system and cars with their headlights on for much of the day. Looking ahead, other than a shower or two, the rest of the week should be dry. But Mother Nature is going to continue to keep us on our toes. There's every chance we'll see another cyclone form by the end of this week. I'll have more details on this shortly in the weather. OK, thanks, Liz. Palm Beach residents are urging their community to speak out against plans to run the light rail through the suburb. The government insists it's the best option for an airport service. The final plan that may be the final straw. The light rail will be the final nail in the coffin for this community. It's going to be traffic chaos down here. This, make, this doesn't make any economic or engineering sense whatsoever. The line would stretch from Burley Heads to the airport beside the Gold Coast Highway. In several spots, four lanes will become two. Drivers will be encouraged to head over to the expanded M1. No, they won't go around. And if they do, all those back streets will be banked up. The light rail will not ease congestion. Taking it to one lane each. <laughs> going to be even worse. Lucas Fish and Chip Shop is in the thick of it, after 50 years in business. They take away a lot of parking as well, so that's definitely going to affect businesses. They won't be able to stop here, buy their food, get their takeaways. We've got some brand new um, businesses here. We don't want to see them suffering. Like Nicole Hay, who opened her zinc just two days ago. It takes away our beach family feel that we have here. The plan also includes an oceanway path along the full length of Palm Beach to encourage less driving and more walking and riding in the area. Plans the Transport Minister insists are well thought through. A study that identifies the best mode and the best route. Details around what that looks like will come later. You can have your say online from next week for three weeks. Holly Fallon, 7 Gold Coast News. A dramatic crash on the M1 has been caught on dash cam. The ute was driving northbound near Olmo when it began veering left, crossing multiple lanes before smashing into a guardrail and flipping over. Surprisingly, the driver walked away without injury. Petrol prices have plunged to their lowest level in recent years, with unleaded now selling for less than $1.20 a litre and tipped to fall much further. It follows Saudi Arabia slashing its export prices, fueling fears of a price war with Russia. That has spooked the stock market, which recorded its biggest fall since the GFC at nearly 7.5%. With coronavirus concerns also a major factor. Full details on the shares crash just ahead in the news at 6. Well, five candidates are vying to be the next councillor for Southport. We'll meet them next. Plus, the Burley high rise that's being demolished to make way for luxury apartments. The program to get more girls to take up careers in technology. And proof that learning to surf can be therapeutic for autistic kids. Coming up in 7 News, Queenslanders celebrate the lives of Hannah Clark and her three children. The share market coronavirus collapse, the Gold Coast hospital incident that sent emergency into a spin, and Uber for pets and Uber for alcohol starting soon. 7 News, Queensland's number one. Marco, what are you doing here? Would you forgive your brother if he tried to steal your wife? You're not welcome here. Last thing I want to do... Ben, there's something I wanted to tell you for the past 20 years. Just tell Ben that we slept together. Home and away, this week on 7. Our health insurance is going up on April 1st. An average increase of 61% over the last 10 years. We need isolates. Enter the Belusionist. I will now compare your bill and needs with hundreds of policies. <gasps> Whoa. Is that your bill? No, this one's smaller. <laughs> Compare, select and save on health insurance with iSelect. Oh, what about electricity and internet? Yes, it's the first word of any new discovery. Telfast helps you say yes with fast, non-drowsy hay fever allergy relief. Turn a half-hearted yes into an all-in yes. Telfast. Live your life. That's not a bad offer. I think I got a better one on the Corolla. Get the Corolla hatch range with 3.9% finance. Oh, what a feeling. Toyota. 
Ints back. Five cent prints. Yes, five cent prints on now at Harvey Norman Photo Center. Turn your best memories into beautiful six by four prints for just five cents each. That's right. Digital six by four prints, just five cents each. No limits. Print in store. Print online. Print from your mobile. It's that easy. Six by four digital prints for just five cents each. No limits. Get printing today. Five cent prints. Limited time only. Now at Harvey Norman Photo Center. Not all paracetamols are the same. Panadol with Optizorb has an advanced formula to deliver paracetamol more efficiently and be absorbed faster. It's fast and effective on pain and gentle on stomachs. Panadol with Optizorb from your pharmacy or supermarket. 100% Australian chicken breast in a crispy tempura batter with crispy jalapenos and spicy sauce in three levels of heat. Spicy, spicier or spiciest. Try Macca's new Spicy McChicken range today. When something goes wrong and you're injured at work, you need the right advice. Step away from the nurse. Contact Shine Lawyers to access compensation through your superannuation. I need the right lawyer. Shine Lawyers. Let's right wrong. Gloss black grill, 19-inch black alloy wheels, panoramic sunroof and more. New Sorrento Black Edition from 48990 Drive Away. Get Vodafone NVN with 4G backup. Plans start from just $65 a month. Add more services to your account to save even more. The future is exciting. Ready? Our health insurance is going up on April 1st. Enter the Illusionist. Whoa! Is that your bill? No, this one's smaller. Compare, select and save with iSelect on 13, 19, 20. A frantic mum, her sick child, waiting for help at Gold Coast Hospital. Then the unthinkable happens. The exclusive video tonight on 7 News. A high-rise tower in Burley Heads with a controversial history will be torn down. It'll be replaced by top-of-the-range units which have almost sold out from the plan. Aspect on Burley was built 17 years ago, developed by former Harvey Bay Whale Watch Queen Mimi McPherson, but construction was problematic and the units took four years to sell. Mimi went bankrupt and now her tower is coming down. The reality is though that with only eight apartments on a plot of land this size, the site was really un underdeveloped. Natura will be built on the site. 17 storeys, 35 units, each with three bedrooms and three bathrooms. We've got some beautiful natural materials such as marble, some porcelain. They went on sale on Saturday. 97 groups came to check out a display. 25 of the 33 units were sold in a day. You didn't expect such a strong response. We haven't seen these types of numbers through displays since really the boom years. The starting price is $1.6 million. The ones up top are three and a half. We're not trying to be all things to all people. We're just looking at a market of very well-heeled buyers that are looking for a, a slice of Burley Beachfront. 30% of buyers were from Sydney, but the majority already live in Burley Heads. Demolition is scheduled to begin in May. The new tower expected to open by the end of next year. Josh Adset, Seven Gold Coast News. Southport could be in for big changes after the council election. Five candidates are campaigning to make Division 6 a thriving city hub again. Division 6 takes in all of Southport plus Ashmore, Bundle and Benoa. With veteran councillor Dawn Critchlow retiring after nearly 30 years, one of these five candidates will take her place. President of the Gold Coast show Josephine Tobias is running her own TV ads. I'm your candidate for the up and coming elections. She wants to make Southport a tourist destination. Let's talk up the hotels that we have, the hotels that are being developed, um, the facilities we have. We have amazing parks as well. Local businessman Michael Pulford runs a recruitment agency. He's vowing to revitalise the CBD. All economies you know, hinge around jobs. And if you can get that right, then I think it'll bring people to Southport and the place will start thriving again. Shaylee Welchman is the brains behind the development of Chinatown. She wants to use her experience as a council employee to tackle the area's homeless issues. And the number one thing that I hear from people is about the antisocial behaviour and the homelessness in the CBD. And this is not just coming from, you know, Southport. Long-time local Susie Gallagher has witnessed huge changes to her neighbourhood. She wants people to come back and invest in it. Why can't we turn Southport into the new Nightwater? Let's expand Chinatown 
and let's include the Vietnamese, the Thai. While finance professional Brooke Patterson wants to get back to basics, promising better roads and footpaths. I will make sure that Cotley Street gets upgraded and that our roundabouts get upgraded. The money stops going off to glitter projects elsewhere. Dion Savage, 7 Gold Coast News. Nominations are now open for the Gold Coast Women of the Year Award. Some of last year's winners attended the launch at the Star yesterday on International Women's Day. There are nine categories, including an overall people's choice. We've got like champions of education, you know, champions of sport, and we've got a new category this year, which is mentors. You can nominate now at womenoftheyear.com.au. Well, surfing can be the therapeutic for kids with autism. A group of American volunteers have been on the coast to show parents how it can help children cope with sensory overload. It's amazing. They make them feel so safe. We'll show you the therapy in action in just a few minutes. Well, sports next and a burly bear with the Titans, Amanda. Mm, Jamal Fogarty has earned a second chance. We'll hear from him next. Plus, can the Suns carry their pre-season success into the real thing? And a superstar to a local board rider's quest to make the top tour. Witness something very, very special. Just imagine. Oh my God. Oh, oh. You walk in and your whole house is fully renovated. So oh, beautiful. But to earn your dream, first <laughs> you have to do this. You're about to take on the biggest challenge ever. The stakes are sky high. To earn your spot in this competition, you'll be renovating the penthouse of this iconic building. Buildings don't intimidate us. We <laughs> intimidate them. Welcome to High Stakes. Only on 7. Belonging. It's funny how we all seem to need it so much. To belong to someone, to the system. An ideal, a hierarchy, a version of reality. You're not a jigsaw piece. Fit with what fits you. The two grand coup. Because. Osteoarthritis causes inflammation in the soft tissue between your joints, which can feel like a burning pain. Nurofen helps to reduce the inflammation and relieve osteoarthritis flare-up pain for up to eight hours. Nurofen, also in double strength. That perfect holiday you've always imagined? Thanks to NAB, your everyday spending could take you there. Because with 130,000 bonus Qantas points on a new NAB Qantas Rewards signature card, you can take that holiday and not have anything to worry about. NAB. More than money. OK, Belinda. It's time to tango, because each morning I'm reclaiming my health with NIB Rewards, which gives me discounts on hundreds of everyday items and experiences. It's how I got you. And you know what? I'm just getting started. Reclaim your health with NIB today. It's worth it. Creating something that feels just right. That's an art. It needs just the right amount of room to move. Elegant lines, a unique flow. Everything exactly in its place. Precisely crafted and beautifully finished. So when you try it, well, you just know. All new Mazda CX-30, everything just right. Hey, mate, just need to pick up my glasses. These must be yours. Can I ask what they're all for? Uh, well, family time, cooking, outdoor time, and generally staying humble. 
On 7 News, Queensland celebrates the lives of Hannah Clark and her three children. The share market coronavirus collapse, the impact on you. Waiting at Gold Coast Hospital, then the unthinkable exclusive video. Fast rain in the southeast, floods in the west, and Uber for pets and alcohol. 7 News at 6. Burley Bears star Jamal Fogarty has been rewarded with a second chance at the Titans. The mature-aged recruit has been signed on a two-year development deal. At 26, Fogarty is older than most development players. Cody Walker's started a little bit later, so I definitely um, hold on to what he did. Three years on from his two-game stint as a Titan, he wasn't chasing a contract, but... It was pretty easy for me to accept, to be honest, you know. Um, still got that fire, fire in my belly. He busted back into rep grade from the Queensland Cup, named Player of the Year in 2019, instrumental to the Burley Bears Premiership. Definitely gives myself that little bit more confidence that I've probably lacked over the last couple of years. There's one catch. A development player can't be fielded until June 30. One less player worrying about tomorrow's team announcement. Strong competition for spots and um, yeah, there's going to be some really good players that miss out. The Don's contract ends this year, but even at 32, he has no intention it will be his last. My body feels good, my mind feels young, so... Um, hopefully I can take the good form into the season. Mitchell Crone, 7 Gold Coast News. The Suns will head into the season on a high, going two for two in their pre-season trials. They held off a surge from the Crows with Jordan Murdoch booting two late goals to secure a tight eight-point victory. Regardless of the score, um, to be fair, we um, it's good to get in those close games and practice. Leading goal kicker Alex Sexton is in doubt to play round one after suffering a hamstring injury. Meanwhile, the Suns women have had their finals hopes all but crushed. They were overrun by the Cats in Mackay to go down by 20 points and sit second last on the ladder. The Knights have continued their dream start to the Queensland MPL by dominating the Peninsula Power 3-0 at the weekend. A double from Max Brown was followed at buff by a Jaden Walker goal early in the second half, securing their fourth win on the trot. Excellent work. That is an excellent, excellent goal. A league recruit, a league recruit, sorry, Shane Smeltz, delivered Gold Coast United a 2-1 victory over the Magpies Crusaders, slotting in both their goals. Burley board rider Liam O'Brien has excelled in his opening heat of the first event in the WSL's newly introduced Challenger Series. O'Brien was one of the round's top scorers, locking away a 16.10 total with two excellent rides. Just trying to take what I learned from last year into this year and um, yeah, it's good to get a, a bit of a start here at Manly. Tugan's Jack Freestone wasn't so lucky being eliminated in his opening heat. That could be a great year for Liam O'Brien though. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Thanks, Amanda. Well, female school students are being offered the chance to pitch their original ideas for an app to industry experts. The Academy of Enterprising Girls held its first workshop at St Hilda's, teaching students about technology in business to develop a company and all the things you need to get that company starting. And the program aims to encourage more girls to pursue careers in technology. Well, Liz, we didn't really need today's rain. How's the weather looking for tomorrow? I'm pleased to say, Rod, more user-friendly, but an active monsoonal trough could see a cyclone brewing. I'll have details shortly. OK, thank you, Liz. Also coming up, how surfing lessons are helping children on the spectrum. It's all here. Live, free and in HD. Boy. You will be Seven. The home of footy. A hotel. Cool. An apartment. Or a house. Explore more options with Trivago to find the perfect place for your stay. Hotel Trivago. When you want to update your home's air conditioning, you'll want air with smart automation. Air that's quiet. And air that saves energy. A lot of energy. Isn't it time you updated your air conditioner? Mitsubishi Electric. 
works for me. Termite sand borers are a problem in Australia, so it's good news that frames made with the inner strength of true core steel are 100% termite and borer proof. To find builders using true core steel, visit truecore.com.au. The Seeker Sale is now on at Royal Caribbean. Book your next holiday with a free balcony upgrade, plus up to 40% off every guest and bonus up to $300 to spend at sea. Come seek Royal Caribbean. Everything you love about a Subaru meets the effortless efficiency of hybrid. Introducing the self-charging hybrid, the next generation of Subaru. Domino's is taking deep pan to a whole new level. Crispier on the outside, fluffier on the inside, and deeper than ever. Share a Domino's deep pan today from just 15 bucks delivered. Why join Booper? Because you'll get six weeks free on eligible products. That's six weeks free. Because who doesn't love a great deal? Booper. Because life happens. Call Booper to find out more. T's and C's apply. Vita Wheat, 100% natural, made with 100% whole grains and 100% yours. Own its Vita Wheat. Own your appetite. Sharon Goodell is here now to preview the top stories just ahead in the news at six. Rod, there were emotional tributes today as hundreds of people turned out and Queenslanders stood as one to celebrate the lives of Hannah Clark and her three children. Also tonight, coronavirus hammers the share market, its biggest drop since the GFC, what it means for you and your money. The full story on the spread of the virus, the worsening impact it's having here and overseas, where more towns are in lockdown. Also tonight, waiting at Gold Coast Hospital emergency, then the unthinkable happens, the exclusive video. Plus, rain on the coast, floods in the west, the chance of a cyclone in the north, Tony Auden's trusted forecast. Exclusive, the baby that wouldn't wait, a woman gives birth outside a lift. Our women cricketers celebrate after their mighty win in the World Cup final. And the new Uber feature, allowing pet owners to ferry around their furry friends, plus the new Uber alcohol delivery service. Those stories and much more on 7 News shortly. Thanks, Sharon. Learning to surf is proving to be good therapy for children with autism. Some caught their first wave at Corumban over the weekend. Standing, kneeling, just feeling the ocean in their face. That is really fun. Surfing's really cool. Yeah. When you get wet. They're a little hesitant stepping into the surf, but they walk out like champions. But once you get in the water, then the magic happens. Then that's the, the therapy that kicks in. This is the second time surfing for the Lawson kids. It's amazing. They make them feel so safe. Helped along by experienced board riders who give up their time to share their love of the surf. It's awesome. Like, you get to kind of be a kid again to yourself. The kids. Man, sometimes they're just so happy. For children on the spectrum, the ocean can be sensory overload, but in the right hands, look what happens. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but it is. It's so powerful. There's a breakthrough in confidence. There's a breakthrough in self-worth. The free session is held annually, run by US charity group Surfers Healing, who introduce local kids to the surf and encourage them to come back as often as they like. Well, even when you fall, you can tell the kid, oh, first wipe out, like, now you're a real surfer. Like, really fun. It's like air just in your face. Like, there's lots of air. <laughs> anyway, they had a great time. Well, now here's Liz with a look at the weather for the week ahead. Thanks, Rod. What a beautiful story that was. Both Coolangatta and the Seaway have recorded over 35 millimetres of rain since 9am today and we've still got a month to go of the wet season and an increasingly active monsoonal trough. There's every chance we'll see a cyclone develop later this week. I'll show you more on this shortly, but first, let's check out our pick of the day. It was sent in by Steve Batho, the rainbow at the bottom of Blackfella Falls at Springbrook. Share your weather photos with us on Facebook for a shout-out. Currently here in Broadbeach, it's 20 degrees with gusty east-southeasterly winds.
wins. Here's a closer look at how today unfolded. We don't see this too often. A difference of just two degrees between Coolangatta's overnight and daytime temperatures. The Seaway struggled to reach 23, well below average for this time of year. On the satellite, heavy rainfall moving east ahead of an inland trough you can see running through central Queensland. The monsoonal trough is set to redevelop over the north with a number of tropical lows which will have to wait and watch for cyclone development but it looks likely we'll see another cyclone form in the Coral Sea by this Friday. Tomorrow, daytime temperatures warmer but still a couple of degrees below average. A top of 26 for our beach suburbs, a shower or two, 17 to 25 for Narang, 19 to 26 for Coomera. For Surface Paradise, 19 to 26, a 60% chance of a shower or two, potentially 1 to 6 millimetres could fall. On our waters, driving southeasterlies up to 30 knots, the swell has increased to 2.5 metres, large tidal changes following the full moon. These pictures are from Surface Paradise this morning where the surf was wind affected, but further south around Coolangatta there were plenty of surfers out at the point breaks, unfazed by the rain. It's breaking through the high tide. The easterly swell pretty big at exposed beaches such as Duramba. Now looking ahead, Wednesday we should get a dry break to get the washing done, a warmer top of 27, a possible shower Thursday and then becoming a very windy next week. So Tony Auden will have more information on the potential for cyclones in the 6pm bulletin. Okay, well stay tuned. Thanks Liz and thanks for your company this evening. We'll be back with more Coast News tomorrow at 5 But stay with us. The news at 6 is starting now from us all here. Good night. Tonight in 7 News, a single casket for a family of four. The community comes together to celebrate the lives of Hannah and her children.